Welcome to Inexpensive Informs, a series where I review team of the week players that aren't expensive because not everyone is rich. Today I'll be reviewing a striker called Kenwin Jones. He plays for the nation of Trinidad and Tobago as well as the club called Stoke City in the Barclays Premier League. Now uh, he is a target man kind of striker. So uh, he's very physical and big size and I'll just talk more about that in a while. So uh, let's just go on to his card stats here. He has 79 pace, 76 shooting, 62 passing, 76 dribbling, 56 defending and 88 heading. So that is his standout trait, um, is basically his heading attribute. So uh, you can see here he has 89 heading as well as 84 jumping. Um, together with his 1.87 meter tall height, he is uh, supposedly a beast in the air, but we will have to see that in a while. So uh, he has his right footed and he has a low medium attack and defensive work rate respectively. And his work rates, um, I will have to talk more and discuss with you guys in a while. Um, he has 3 star weak foot. 3 star skill move. So uh, now this guy here, uh, Cameron Jones, is actually a quite decent striker um, considering that he is supposedly a target man. Uh, he has 79 pace and if you look into detail, he has actually 80 acceleration, 80 agility. Um, so it's actually quite, quite decent um, pace stats there. So uh, other things that stands out for him is that he has a very, very good shot power, 94 shot power and he can take decent penalties as well. Now, other than that, uh, he is actually rather let down by his work rate. Now, why I say this is because a low attacking work rate would mean that he would often be found in positions in the field where he is not ready to um, take a cross. He is not ready to actually um, be in the box to take a rebound, so on and so forth. Now, you'll find him sometimes lacking behind plays, most of the time rather, and uh, he will be in the midfield ready to take a pass, but that is not where you want him really. Um, and that's quite sad really. Um, he has really, really decent stats and uh, he he's supposedly a very very good striker especially in the air but uh, when I played with him um, often I find him in places where he is not ready not ready to take a header not ready to challenge for the ball in the air so uh, that's the main problem with him um, if you want to play with him you can actually do what I'll call very very slow build up um, which doesn't really apply well in ultimate team because the game the pace of the game is way too fast for you to actually play a slow build up game uh, it takes a lot of patience and uh, if your opponent scores a goal you're going to be really really frustrated and um, that's the only way I believe you can bring Jones into the play else if you want to get past the work rate issue you can actually um, edit his work rate uh, manually in each game at the start um, by um, changing his attack work rate to high or you, what you can do is basically um, not use him at all so that's it really um, his pros is that he's actually a very all-round striker he is able to finish the ball in the box if he gets into positions just outside the box you can smash the ball in as well in the air um, if he is there to challenge the hater um, he will be able to uh, create a very very good chance in terms of hating the ball into the back of the net um, other than that his work rate is horrible and so Yep, if you're those that play very, very fast counter-attacking football or um, fast build-up, um, do not expect to see Jones in the box because he will not be there uh, due to his work rate as well as his pace not being of the fastest to catch up with the play. So that's about it, really. Um, that's Kenwin Jones for you and I hope to see you guys again soon.